I got an early flight in the morning. Got it. 4 a.m. up, and I'm gone on the flight. We will make sure it's not a late night for your early flight. Late night, early flights. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome back to another exciting episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. I am your co-host, TMD, and we want to thank our main sponsor, Knox Pro Entertainment. That's right, based out of Van Nuys, California, A. You want to find out all things Knox Pro, just log on to the World Wide Web at www.knoxpro.com. Calm, big quiche. Hey, hey. How you doing, man? How you yeah, feeling? Man, I'm I'm exhausted. You had a crazy weekend. Yes, sir. We're we, gonna, well, we both did. Yes, you know? sir. Yes, sir. We're going to talk yeah. about that. But before we get into the Major Vibes Festival, yeah. we're going to talk about the bloodline and what's going on right now. SmackDown, King of the Ring. Yeah. We saw Tama Tonga advance over LA Knight, which means he's going to face the Viper, Randy Orton, coming up. Okay. So... What what are your thoughts on, on that match? First of all, I thought that was one hell of a matchup between Tama Tonga and L.A. Knight. Well, you know, hey, you know, business wise, I mean, both of these guys are good workers. Um, so you know, I I, uh, I would uh, I would uh, think that, you know, I would expect that that match would be a great match. And now, you know, business wise, moving in with him and Randy Orton, Tama Tonga, mm -hmm. I, I I think it's a it's a good move for WWE. Um, so, you know, let's hope now what the outcome is, because, you know, as we know it now, you know, the bloodline, you know, you got, you know, uh, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, right? They're kind of like at that angle they're kind of building right now. But right. at the same time, you know, the bloodline has to be the timeline. So let's see where, you know, where they go with that, you know, coming this Friday. What's Big Keisha's thoughts? Or today, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's your thoughts on L.A. Knight as a superstar so far? You know what? Uh, I, I, I like the guy, personally. Uh, he's one of those cats that's, uh, in my book, kind of a late bloomer or uh, somebody that was recognized late in the game. He's kind of up there in age, I, I think it is. And uh, he's a good worker. He looks good. He's got a, you know, a hell of a mouthpiece on him. Well, uh, you know, we kind of hear that. We heard that before, right? Yes, sir, yeah. Uh, if you close your eyes and you hear him cut his spill, you know, you can, it's almost like you're listening to Stone Cold in a way. And The Rock. Know? And The Rock in yeah. a way, right? And so, yeah, and, you know, he, he, you know, he's a good he's a good worker, you know? Um, now, is he the guy? I, I, I don't know. You know, it, it depends what type of uh, storyline that, you know, they can come up with to where people really, really get behind him. I think for him to go to the next level, there has to be something emotional, something that people can relate to, like really, really want this guy to, you know, to to come up. Sure. They want him to, you know, to whoop somebody's ass or whatever. But, you know, that goes back to him and the writers and so forth. It's not like he can't do the... You know, do the work. You know, the guy is very talented, but you know, I, I just don't, I just don't think that LA Knight has really blossomed yet. Right. Yes, and uh, you know the uh, the IWC, the Internet Wrestling Community, uh, a lot of people are saying that his push is, is stalled. Yeah. Um, and I was just wondering. Um, hey, who is this? LA Knight. No, no. Who's oh, 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 the I the IWC? That that's the the, the uh, fans, the people who write in and you know and complain uh, uh, and play Booker uh, and the, the professionals. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell are you on there? <laughs> oh, what, nah. what are you doing? No, well, you know I, I do homework. I okay, monitor well, stuff. Okay, you know, okay I, well, there's your plug for whoever that is. Yeah, you know. All right. I, I just uh, I, uh, I I was uh, really behind him. I I really do think like like you just said. I think he hasn't blossomed yet, like you said. Uh, yeah. I think there's still a lot more great things to come from L.A. Knight. Uh, speaking of the King of Ring uh, tournament, your son, Jay. Yeah. He is out of the King of Ring tournament. Yeah. He lost to Gunther via submission. Yeah. Um, I got to say, that was a, a surprise. I thought I honestly had my... Um, I would have bet the farm on it. I had my money on Jay winning the whole thing and going um, yeah. the distance. What are your thoughts on him losing to Gunther? I thought it was absolutely bull****. Absolutely bull****. How, nothing against Gunther, you know, and, and when I think of stuff like that, and I'm not saying this because Jay is my boy, right? But I, I'm always thinking as a, as a promoter, as a, as a, as that, what, what makes sense for, the, to bring revenue to the company, 
right? Nothing against Gunther. Great worker. He is what he is as far as working with a, you know, a, a, a baby face to help that baby face go to the next level. And so for sure, for sure, I thought that the company was going to let the Yeet Man go to the next level. Possibly maybe even give the Yeet Man the king of the ring crown. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, because here's the thing. This kid here, 17 plus years, 17 plus years have fought, clawed, worked his way to the top. Finally get this, this uh, I don't even want to say he's a character, a character because this is what he is. But finally get to a spot to to really like enjoy being a uh, the experience of being a single wrestler. As you can see, like you know, the, the film doesn't lie. the The merchandise the merchandise doesn't lie. You look around the arena, all you see is yeet 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 uh, merchandise. You turn on the TV, what do they show on commercials for WWE? Highlights. What do you see? You see the yeet yeet of the crowd. When when they when they promote like shows that are coming up, the flyers that you see, what do you see? You see Jay Uso, main event Jay Uso on the flyer. And so at the end of the day, when you turn around and you take that away, what makes perfectly sense for business. It just, it, to me, you need to fire these ass whoever's that's, that's writing this stuff here. And, you know, I, I, that's why I probably would get fired because I can't, you know, I can't sit back and hold my tongue what's right. Just give me the reason why that we're not going to let the most, probably the most popular baby face on Raw Give it. Give me an uh, explanation. Like, is there something that you know for years and years again? Is it? it I don't know. Are you holding down. You putting weight on the bloodline. What is it? I and mean, this is just me. And, and if you guys get hot, don't get hot at, at Jay. Mm. You, uh, I ain't hard to find. Kishi is not hard to find. All you got to do is just hit me up on off the top, or you can bring your ass in here and we can have a conversation. Mm. And so. When I watched this in the kitchen last night, I was actually watching in, you know, watching the show in the kitchen and washing dishes. Sitting there cleaning up the kitchen. I'm watching. I was excited to see, you know, okay, he advanced to the here we go. Hey, in my mind, they, they could, yeah, what makes good for business makes sense for business. They're gonna give it to Jay. Mm -hmm. But when I seen the finish. And the most, for me, the man, you could have came. I'm, I'm sure there is a lot of minds back there that could have came up with some type of finish to be able to protect Jay. You know what I mean? It could have been something. I mean, I, I come right off the top of my dome. He, he worked the whole match. It looked like you know his shoulder was damaged. That's what it was. Then they choked him. And out of that choke, he just, boom, like passed out. It was kind of flat. The finish was flat. The people was behind Jay through the whole, they for sure thought they, they, he was going to take it. And so what I'm saying is, here's what Kishi's uh, finish would have been. Okay. Kishi's finish would have been, through the whole match, his shoulders obviously was messed up. It could have been something. Boom, boom, he's fighting back with one arm. He's got this guy beat. Beat. And then here comes uh, 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 Gunther. Maybe hit him with a finish, Jay kicks. Hit him with some other type of finish, Jay kicks. He goes to try to screw Jay with a false finish, or, or some type of chair or something, or whatever, a gimmick. Jay kicks. And out of this, this is Monday Night Raw. Mm -hmm. Hey, we going into Netflix. How about somewhere there, there's some color. Now, just this theatrical camera zoom in. You see Jay, he just will not give up. But somewhere there, 
Guess who shows up? Who's that? Come on. Let me throw the towel in, because this business ain't worth my son's life. <laughs> Come on. Let's get on out of here. But that's my thought. And then, if in case it would have went the other way around, how cool is that? To see the bloodline from, from Tamatonga. Randy's already established. Whatever Randy lays down for who and who, mm. it's never going to hurt Randy. But Tamatonga just got here. Why not let's do some business? Because that's what we all learn, right? Right. We, we come from generations that teach us, is, you know, we, we ain't got no egos. We do what's right for business. You got a guy that just came, has never been to WWE, but is shot up to the top of the, of the, of the bracket, the bloodline. You beat a goat like Randy, what does that do for Tama Tonga? That just, hey, that just gives him, you know, resume like puts him right on top. Right. Then you have Tama Tonga go against Jay for the king of the ring. Now he's right back to the bloodline. And I'll tell you why it's important that, that they should have. I feel like they dropped the ball. Because if you can show me anything else, that the bloodline is not drawing anywhere in the world? Don't worry. I'll wait. I'll wait. I mean, they've been doing it for the last four years. I'll wait. We, we got time. Because all, 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 all we're doing now is just producing young bucks to get up there to fill the spots of those that's paved the way. Now Roman get a little time to rest. Great. Jimmy's out of action. He's out. I'm assuming he's resting up. In the meantime, we watching. We watching, we plotting. What is the next move for the bloodline? In the meantime, you got Tangaloa, you got Tamatonga, you got Solo Sokoa holding it down for the bloodline. Continue to building that bloodline 2.0, if that's what you want to call it. And then you got Jay on his own, by himself, Yeeting all over the world, mm -hmm. but at the same time, don't in the back of your mind, fans, you think fans are waiting. Damn it. What's going to happen when Jimmy comes back? We see Tamatonga and Tangaloa with Solo. What if? What just if the Usos, where they get back together, here comes Roman. Come on. We WrestleMania all over again, number 41. So that's my thoughts on it. I thought it was absolutely bullshit. And that's just me. Don't, don't, don't put the heat on anybody in my family. This is this is me, Rikishi Fatu, saying, you know, speaking my thoughts. My thoughts. It's just, you know, it's it's we all, we all uh we all got a right to voice our opinion. Yes, sir. And I, I just felt like, you know, it took me back, man. It took me back to, like, I'm washing the dishes, and I'm, like, damn near almost breaking the dishes. <laughs> you know, my I don't wife, think Karina my, would my, like that too much. No, Karina, was, she, she was like, oh, who are you talking to back there? <laughs> and so I come in the front of the living room. I'm trying to talk to her, but I just look at her, and I was, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah, so I went, I went in the room, man, and I just threw on my earphones and just started listening to my albums and stuff like that. Yeah, but I thought... You know, hey man, you know, my, to my boys out there, man, keep your head up, man. You know, you you you're smart. You see it coming a mile away. You know, make the right moves, man, and, and you know, don't be scared to. And I'm not saying they are, you know. Said, voice your opinion. You, you, they deserve that right. You deserve that. Anybody, whether it be my sons or any, anybody that put in work, that has started from the bottom there, you know, all the way from the developmental center. You know what it is. Finally, you get there and just like, you can't wait to give you and get an opportunity just to showcase. Like, you know, you want to be that main event, man. You want to be that, you know, that guy that sells out all the merchandise and, and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I, this is just me talking. I, I tell you, when you came through, my, my damn blood pressure was so freaking high. <laughs> me and Rai Rai was driving over here. And I was like, I got some I need to get off my chest. Well, you know, so I appreciate, hey, for y'all that's listening, because I, 
I know y'all been jacking some of my, you know, some of my sayings on here and uh, put it up on your website. I appreciate you if you guys go ahead and just, I don't mind you ripping off my shit. <laughs> but turn around and just plug us in there. You know, it's Rikishi you fought too. Exactly. Yeah, just a little credit. Off the top. Yeah. That's it. You know what I mean? So. You, know, you know, I think your next t-shirt is uh, Kishi's Finish. I think that is uh, actually really badass. That's a great uh, slogan right there, speaking of sayings. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. So uh, there's another Bloodline member actually making news uh, these last few days. And uh, we'll, we will get to that in a second, but we are going to take this little uh, yeah. pause for the cause, oh, no, ladies it, and gentlemen. Look at this. Oh, the Ooh, drink master. Drink master. What, what we got here, Rob Rye? The good old cafeína. Oh. Carpeína. Uh, Carpeína. <laughs> all right, to all the ballerinas out there. Monguia. Monguia. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Thank you, Rob Rock. Hot dog. Thank I, you. I, thank I you. needed just to you know, have my blood pressure go down from Yeah. Me. You might need some Kishi Kusha later on yeah, in the day, well, too. Yeah, that's in the works. So mm -hmm. uh, there's another Bloodline member that's uh, making news uh, right about now, and yeah. I, I was tickled to death to see this. Of course. Because it is your uh, nephew. Your buddy. The Od No, no, the other nephew. Oh. The Odyssey of Death, Journey Fatu. Making noise. Oh. He he's oh on he's he's on he's on going viral right now. He's on World Doing Star. What? what did he do now? Yeah, your, or what did he do? Your nephew, the Odyssey of Death, Journey Fought to okay. uh had a steel chair and, yeah. and lit it on fire and and paintbrushed some guy over the head with it and the dude's head caught on fire. Yeah. And, 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 and just the visual of it. But that clip <laughs> is all over the place. I saw it on World Star. Yeah. World Star, TMD goes on World Star, ladies why, and gentlemen, uh, every day. So when I saw that, I marked out huge because yeah. it's Journey. Uh, and you know, Journey Fought 2, man, you know, you got, all the Fought 2s are sweethearts, but the sweetest is the most violent, and that is Journey Fought 2. Yeah, which he, which he Journey Fought 2, that's the one that should have been a preacher. <laughs> what? In this family. Yeah, he is that humble, dude. Hey, very much. So, oh, I man, mean, uh, man. Yeah, so the guy got his head busting down fire. Yes. So, so he, well, How much do you think he made? For, uh, uh, you know, some people will say $50 and a, and a hot dog and a handshake or yeah, something, but uh, <laughs> what, I don't know, man. man. I, not enough. Well, not I, enough to well, light I'm, your head on fire. I'm glad Journey's hitting somebody with that rather than, because I would get hot if somebody hit Journey with that and his head get on fire. Because I am glad you mentioned that, Big Keish, because you know what? Journey Fought 2 is not the only Fought 2 member to uh, go viral. Jacob's gone viral. Oh, and uh, I, I actually ran across a, a video of a certain WB Hall of Famer sitting right across oh. For me, well, uh, yeah. maybe you could take us back. Do you remember a time there was a, li a little incident? I don't know the town, but I definitely know the footage. Yeah, there was a time where uh, you were in a match with Haku, and uh, I, I think I, I believe it might have been Haku holding you back, and somebody threw a kick or whatever, and kicked me in the eye. Yes, sir. And you uh, you got hot, but he pissed Big Keish off. Now the footage is out there. Do you remember this incident? Uh, no, I don't. But I kind of remember uh, uh, that part because I damn near almost lost my eye. I believe it was. Yes, sir. And, but you know, I was already hot from driving to this place and had problems with the promoter. And as you can see, it was like a little, like a gym or something like yes, that. Sir, I believe yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I think I posted it uh, a while back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, and I, dude, I was, you know, the one thing you don't want to do is get me hot. <laughs> right? And uh, when you when you working with Big Keys, you better come correct, man. You better know how to work, know how to throw your shit without, you know, I mean, come on. You, you, you working for a promoter? Like, you know, at an independent show, mm -hmm. they ain't got no money to, you know, to pay your insurance or, no. God forbid, you know, your eyeball falls out, oh, you geez. know? And so, you know, the next guy I took it out on was the cat like that, you know? Yeah. You, you either work with a person or, hey, then, you know, it comes what we call a receipt. Yes, sir. And uh, the footage is out yeah. there, and it's one hell of a, a receipt. Holy moly. But, you know, like, you know, I'm, I'm really a nice guy, though. Yes, yes, I'm, you I'm are. Not, I'm not that. You You're know a lover. What I mean? But, yeah, I'm just... And a fighter. I'm a... Yeah, I'm I'm both. Yes, sir. But yes, I'm sir. I'm not that, you know. It probably might have looked like I was a bully or something. But your fans don't know the behind the scenes and you know working up to that match and so forth. So, you know, whoever the guy is, I I forgot you know, whoever the independent worker is. If you're listening, probably twenty something years later, you know, Big Keith, I sincerely apologize to you. There it is. Wow. Yeah, it's free to be kind. <laughs> 
Yes, it is. That's yes, pretty big guy. Now. Yes, yes, it is. Um, so I, I got to tell you, okay, we're going to do a recap. Yeah. So this past weekend, the Major Vibes Festival, mm. holy moly, that was a awesome experience. Uh, the Off the Top uh, podcast team was there. Your students yeah. were there. Myself was there. I mean, my partner. Uh, it was a, it was an awesome, awesome event. It was in uh, Adelanto, California, which is uh, by the Victorville area. Adelanto Stadium, beautiful stadium. Mm -hmm. um, how, how was your experience? I, I was happy. You know, uh, it's... it's uh, I've never went to a Polynesian reggae festival like that. And uh, to be able to be invited by, you know, the, the mayor of the city, Mayor Reyes and his family and so forth, and, uh, you know, the city of Adianto. You know, I, I was excited. Uh, I was excited. I didn't know what to expect. You know, again, uh, you know, I was there on behalf of the, you know, the Rikishi Entertainment, you know, wrestling show, which we, you know, the fans just enjoyed it. I mean, who who doesn't love wrestling? Right. Right? And, you know, it was a, something that we tried, uh, talked with the mayor, and, you know, he talked about what about wrestling, you think it'll fit? And, you know, I, again, I've never been to the reggae Polynesian festivals. Mm -hmm. And so I said, you know what? You know me. We got to try. And if we don't try, we'll know then whether it works or not. And it worked. Yes, you sir. know, it, you know, I think there could be a few things to change up because we had our little sound system by mm -hmm. the ring. And, you know, the concert, they had their yeah. gigantic speakers yeah. and so forth. And you can hear it all around. So... I think just, uh, you know, a few adjustments, you know, as far as, you know, the the music and stuff in there to be able to uh, work together, mm -hmm. uh, I think it'd be great. But, you know, I, I was watching you guys do your thing. I was sitting there in the uh, VIP, VIP box. Yeah. I, thank you to, uh, you know, Mayor Reyes and and uh, the whole crew out there in uh, Adi, uh, Um Yeah. I, so I was watching you guys. I was watching you and... Uh, you know, you and Ryan, you know, run the show mm -hmm. and so forth. You were there, you know, booking with the talent, and mm -hmm. Ryan was out there, you know, making sure, you know, on walkie-talkies, back and forth, me, you, and Ryan, you know, just kind of communicating, doing what we do. We're doing this, you know, it's not our first barbecue. Nope. But it's kind of like our first time we've worked in a long time. Yes, sir. And the first time Rikishi Entertainment has uh, yeah. been a part of something like that. And then to have our music you, uh, guys with Frank and... You know, Michael there. So, you know, we just adapt. You know what yep, I mean? I seen yep. Frank and the crew with the music had their tent up. Yep. <laughs> when I, he bought a tent to bring it back. Yeah. And, and then we had a tarp out there over yep. the dugout. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're just used to that to make things work and adapt. Yeah. We don't bitch about it. We'll just go out there. Because you can imagine what they're going through. A big festival like that. Right. Making sure that all the main talent and everybody you know, that's going to show up on time. and Yeah. So, uh, you know, I was very proud of you and Ryan and uh, Frank and Michael was how you guys, uh, you know, just adapt and, you know, just made it happen. You know, you guys took care of everything on your own and so forth. And and it was nice with, you know, with a few, with, with some help from those that work uh, uh, with the mayor's team. And so it was nice, you know. And, uh, you know, at the end of the night, you know, they... They brought me down. I finally got to see, uh, you know, Brother Spawn Breezy. Wow. I uh, I haven't seen Spawn, man. Uh, when the first time he just started his career, I, I don't know, maybe oh, 20 years ago, maybe, is in Santa Ana someplace. My son, Samson, was maybe two years old. Wow. And uh, I wanted to, you know, I haven't seen him since. And so uh, when I finally seen him in the back of uh, the stage, it was it was nice to catch up, you know what I mean? Just to say, you know, uh, you know, congratulations to all the success and, you know, him moving forward and continue the grind and the work. And, and so we kind of just, you know, switch off, uh, you know, those type of congratulations to each other, you know, and it was a long hug. Yeah. You know, I hugged him so hard and so long, like, you know, it, Tears coming out, it's just tears of not sadness, but just joy and happiness, you know, and yeah. 
congratulations, you know, as far as with the lifetime achievement. I was just going to say, for the, for the people so, who weren't there, uh, Big Quiche was uh, honored with a lifetime achievement award. Not only that, he received a key to the city. And I had to ask you, Big Quiche, when you were given, uh, first of all, how many keys to different cities do you own? You, there's got to be a few in your, your collection. Well, yeah, I have one from uh, Mobile, Alabama. Wow. That was given to me. Uh, this was probably in... Uh, 1999 uh, or 2000. Uh, yeah, and uh, I got one from the uh, San Francisco, the Bay Area. Okay, that's two. And then I have this one here. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? But I've never received a, a, a belt. You know, yeah, like that was this, awesome. The, the trophy that, uh, you know, that was given to me. It was a customized, of course, red... Yeah. Red leather, like man, the bloodline. Man, it looked great. Like uh, you know? snake skin or whatever, that crocodile, yeah. al alligator skin. Man, it looked amazing. So, you know, so I got blessed with that. And then, you know, a big congratulations, too, to, you know, my Mauso that was with me, Domara Peco. Oh, from the NFL, yeah. Yeah, he also was uh, got a Lifetime Achievement Award. He's been in the game well over 15-plus years. Yeah, and then uh, you know he's also uh, that next day. Yeah, he was actually leaving to go to Dallas. Yeah, to coach the Cowboys. He's coach the Cowboys. They booed him yeah. when he said yeah. that. They just yeah, booed. he was telling me, you know, he was telling me like in a back dressing yeah. room. I was happy, boy, and he said Dallas. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're a Niner fan. The whole yeah. and they're all Polynesians, and he's Polynesian. They booed yeah. him out the stadium. <laughs> it was all out of love, because you know. You know, uh, you know, the Polynesians, boy, if you're not from the right team, they definitely going to let you know. But at the end of the day, it was all love. Man, it was an awesome you know, experience. It was good to see you uh, uh, receive that Lifetime man, Achievement Award. I'll tell you, Joey, yeah. I haven't been on the stage with a crowd like that in a minute. Yeah, yeah. And, man, it's almost like I got up there, man, and, you know, Ryan, Ry, of course, you know, assist me with, I got up on stage just so my blind ass can see where I'm not tripping over cables. And uh huh. Uh huh. Soon as they gave me, they want me, you to go viral that way. Yo, when mm -hmm. they gave me the mic, mm -hmm. I almost reached out to Frank. Frank, throw on one of these. <laughs> 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 throw on Dynasty hey, Forever. Hey, yo, bring on some Dynasty Forever. And that day, all of a sudden, my damn knees felt good. My shoulder <laughs> felt good. <laughs> I was ready to get into them. I did not doubt I, that at all. I, I think had I went second. Uh huh. They were to the pass it to Beckel first and uh -huh. let Beckel do because Beckel prayed and uh -huh, yeah. you know you don't want to outshine the Lord. No, I, yeah, I, I can't. You know, the Lord might just not. Yeah, no, no, he wouldn't he like might that. Strike me down. Yeah, or something, no, we don't you know, want that. like mm -mm. you know while Beckel was praying, boy, I was already like dancing, like you know what I mean. <laughs> but it felt real good to all the fans that you know the power of wrestling, man. The power of wrestling, no matter where we at, like be it a concert, uh, be it someplace with a huge gathering. That wrestling cult, you know, sees no color. Yes, sir. Sees no faith. Sees no, they just, if once they're committed to you, man, they're committed to you for life. It's so universal. Big shout out to everybody that, you know, showed love for myself and my Uso Peco. And uh, again, you know, 100% big shout out. Uh, to the Mayor Reyes and his family. Yes, sir. Uh, his whole entire staff. Took care of us. You know, yeah, and uh, the great. city of Adelanto. Yep. And a uh, big shout out to, uh, you know, Uso Spawn Breezy. Uh, Did you meet Jay uh, Book? Uh, Did you get to talk to no, Jay Book? No, I didn't get to talk to what? Jay Book. Well, Jay Book was made The headliner, yeah, yeah, for he sure. He was the headliner. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, I was looking forward to meeting him in uh, Fiji. Mm -hmm. And, you know, word uh, got back to us that, uh, you know, Fiji was uh, not feeling well. So. Okay. So I yeah, want everybody, you know, send your prayers out to Uso Fiji, you know, who's an icon in this uh, this industry of music. And I wish him and his uh, family, you know, uh, get well uh, wishes and so forth. But Jay Boog, I'll catch you next time, my host, you know. By the time you came up, I know my bedtime was past my bedtime. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was time for me to, you know, take my grandson mm -hmm. because my grandson came down from Vegas. Yeah. So he drove down. It was getting late, and he was leaving the next morning. And so when it comes to my grandkids, dude, yeah. I don't care where I'm at or who I'm with or mm -hmm. blah, I'm outie. Yes, sir. You know, goodbye. You know, I got to continue to, you know, to make mem memories and spare that. Uh, you know, spend that that precious time with with family, but you know, no disrespect. I'll I'll see Brother Jay Book the next time. That's right. Yes, that's right. So I look forward to possibly next year. You know, working yes, with uh, 
with the mayor and, uh, you know, Major Vibes and who else? Some other festivals. Major Vibes 2025? Yeah, why not? You know what I mean? I mean, I like the, the sound fan, of that. The fans ate it up. You know, the kids. I loved it to see the kids. The kids were having so, so much Just fun. Just going to tell you, Big Keish, there were smiles for miles. Those kids, <laughs> uh, uh, Lehua, yeah. uh, great, awesome talent. Uh, right. I loved how she came out. She gave the lays to the kids. Yeah. That little that little gesture, yeah, man, th these kids loved her. And sure. uh, they were so into the, to the show. Uh, the kids really made it worthwhile how crazy they were going oh. and really into it. And really, that's, uh, for me personally, that's that's what I love seeing the most is the kids and just being happy. Well, that's what it's all about. Yes, sir. That's all it's Smiles for miles. 100%. Uh, speaking of uh, getting out here, Big Keish, yeah. I know you got an early flight, so uh, wh where are you going? Well, I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm... Uh... I'm flying out to uh, to the East Coast, mm -hmm. uh, the Pensacola, my old stomping grounds. Uh, my grandson, Jadian, is graduating. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, it'll be on Wednesday. And then jump the flight at uh, to another 5 a.m. Right? <laughs> 5 a.m. to jump to go to Atlanta from Pensacola. Uh, land at 7.30, go directly to another graduation. This is a graduation uh, tour. My son, uh, Jay's... Uh, uh, son, my grandson, Josiah. Wow. And so I'm coming there, and I'm going to, you know, uh, spend a few days there. Okay. And, uh, you know, listen, I, I do want to make a special announcement, too, man, that, uh, you know, Club Shay Shay. You yes. Know, we about ready to get down uh, uh, June the 5th. So it, okay. We just, we just signed a deal, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to coming on to Club Shay Shay. So are you, is, is this still the online version? Online version. Now, okay. You'll see me post up on my Instagram okay. and on the, on the Rikishi Off the Top podcast. All the information will go on there, and, uh, especially on my website. But it, it'll be online. Uh, it'll go on to their Facebook and uh, my Facebook and so forth. And uh, we're supposed to be a team there, you know, to, to be able to talk to the man. So who knows? You know, just, uh, you know, I, I was so excited. Uh, to be able to be invited to like uh, uh, to Club Shay Shay, you know, yes, with sir, Shannon that is Sharp. awesome. Yeah, you know, I, I always say we're, we're, we're just a small little podcast, man. Yeah, you know, we we come and we grind every week and man. do what we do here, and to be able to you know be invited, you know what I mean? It's 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 a huge thing, and uh, you know, appreciate you guys out there. You know, Club Shay Shay and uh, Shannon Sharp and the whole crew. So well, fans sure of the podcast and, of course, fans of uh, yourself, yeah. uh, stay tuned because there's actually a lot of cool things going on b behind the scenes with Big Keish that uh, we're, we can't talk about right now. But there's a lot of cool things coming up. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, Big Keish, congratulations on your Thank Lifetime you. Achievement Award. Safe travels to the East Coast. Mom, we are. Love you, my man. I love you too, sir. Uh, very proud of you. Very, very awesome. Good stuff this weekend. Uh, do you have any final words? Well, always remember, you know what I'll say. It's free to be kind to one another. And always remember this, smarten the hell up.